Is your emotional well-being getting significantly worse on the Twin Flame journey? Isn't the Twin Flame journey meant to heal you and bring more peace into your life? I'm here to answer that question for you today. Hi, my name is Carmel. Welcome to my channel. Here we discuss all things Twin Flames. First off, let's set the record straight. If you approach the Twin Flame journey correctly, with the right intentions, the intention to heal your harmonious Twin Flame union, this journey is designed to bring healing to your life. It's meant to bring peace to your life. It's meant to bring harmony to your life. And it will. And if done right, it will permanently heal any sense of separation between you and your twin flame. Now let's talk about the process. The twin flame journey is a spiritually transformative path. A big part of it involves in facing your deepest fears and facing your fears around love and healing them. And here's where it can go one of two ways. First, the way I highly recommend is using your twin flame as a perfect divine mirror that they are. They're not just your perfect lover, partner, and best friend. They're also your greatest teacher and compliment. And by using them as a spiritual tool, you can identify where you're out of alignment with love and you can give those paths for yourself the love that you've been craving. And when you do this, you harmonize your inner vibration with love, which naturally heals your union and draws you closer to your twin flame step by step until you achieve perfect union. And there's another way that this journey can go, and it's a path that you want to avoid. You might come across the so-called twin flame experts online who push the idea that the twin flame journey is toxic or that it brings chaos to your life. Now, this kind of thinking doesn't come from someone who's truly on the Twin Flame journey. They're choosing to expand separation consciousness and trying to keep you from the power of your union and the power that your union provides you. They might seem like they're trying to help you, but really, they're just justifying their own misery. Don't let their negative voices pull you down or make you feel badly about the Twin Flame journey and its purpose in your life. They're not on the Twin Flame journey. They disguise their own misery as the Twin Flame journey, trying to make it something that it's not. Finally, there's a third scenario that you need to be aware of. And maybe you're genuinely committed to using the Twin Flame journey for healing, but you find yourself stuck ruminating on upset longer than necessary, or letting it be an excuse to complain or let your life get out of balance. And so it's important to not let the Twin Flame journey become an excuse to dwell on negativity or to stop living fully. Remember that the Twin Flame journey isn't separate from your life. It is your life. And as you love yourself more and more, your life and union will naturally improve. So to sum it all up, to bring it all together, yes, the Twin Flame journey is for your healing, but only if you approach it correctly. And the Twin Flame journey is not toxic. The intentions behind it and what you use it for is what's going to make the change in your life. Use your Twin Flame as a mirror that they are. Stay clear of any negative influences, such as negative Twin Flame talkers, and don't let yourself get stuck in the patterns that hold you back. The more you align with love, the more you'll see your life and your union transform. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe for more insights on the Twin Flame journey. And if you would like one-on-one -on -one support, you can book coaching with me in the description below. Take care and see you in the next video.